Listen to the sound. Ever had one of those nights that starts out like any other but ends up being the best night of your life? Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. It was June the 22nd, 1990, our final day of school. There was Oliver Chamberlain, Peter Page, Stephen Prince, Andy Knightley, and me. They called me the king because my name's Gary King. Ollie was funny. He fancied himself as a bit of a player, but really he was all math. We called him O-Man because he had a birthmark on his forehead that looked like a six. <laughs> he loved it. Pete was the baby of the group. He wasn't the kind of kid we'd usually hang out with, but he was good for a laugh, and he was absolutely minted. Steve was a pretty cool guy. We jammed together, chased the girls. I think he saw us as rivals. <laughs> Sweet, really. And Andy. Andy was my wingman, the one guy I could rely on to back me up. He loved me, and I'm not being funny, but I loved him too. There was nothing we were gonna miss about school. Maybe Mr. Shepard. He was definitely one of the good guys. He used to ask me what I wanted to do with my life. I told him I just wanted to have a good time. He thought that was funny. It wasn't meant to be. Not that night. Come on, once more, five, six, two, eight. Newton Haven was our hometown our playground, our universe, and that night it was the site of a heroic quest. The aim? To conquer the Golden Mile. Twelve pubs along a legendary path of alcoholic indulgence. There was the first post, the old familiar, the famous cock, the cross hands, the good companions, the trusty servant, the two-headed dog, the mermaid, the beehive, the king's head, the hole in the wall, all before reaching our destiny, the world's end. We took my car into town, I called it the Beast because she was pretty hairy. And so our journey into manhood began. We were off. We didn't waste any time. We hit pub one and we hit it hard. There was drinking, there was fun, there was controversy, there were ladies, there were shots, there was drama, and of course, there was drinking. By pub five, we were feeling invincible and decided to purchase some herbal refreshment from a man we called the Reverend Green. Pint six put O-Man out of commission, so we carried on without him. Good thing, I bumped into his sister in the next pub. We went into the Disabled's and I bumped into her again. Sam tagged along for a while, but then I had to let her go. I had another date that night, and her name was Amber. Nine pints in, and it was us against the world. Things got mental in the beehive, so we repaired to the Bowls Club, or as we like to call it, the Smokehouse, which is when it all went fuck up. Everyone got power and Pete chucked a whitey, so we had to bench him. In the end, we blew off the last three pubs and headed for the hills. I remember sitting up there, blood on my knuckles, beer down my shirt, sick on my shoes, seeing the orange glow of a new dawn break and knowing in my heart life would never feel this good again. And you know what? <laughs> it never did. Thank you, Gary. That was very enlightening. Would anyone like to add anything? Or maybe challenge Gary? Are you disappointed? About what? <laughs> you didn't make it to the world's end. <coughs> no. Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party.